Hello everybody, welcome to Music Talks Online. It's really sad that we can't meet together in the church or in the nursery school, but isn't it good we can meet like this? So I'm here in my song time area and we're going to sing five songs this afternoon. I hope you're ready. Here's our first one. That's right, ba ba black sheep. Let me see those sheep. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Thank you, said the master, thank you, said the dame. Thank you, said the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, ba! Well done. Let's move on to our next song. Here we go. Five little monkeys. Are you ready to get them jumping on the bed? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mommy phoned the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four left. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mommy phoned the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three more. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mommy phoned the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two left. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mommy phoned the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Last one. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mommy phoned the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, those silly monkeys. Shall we see what our next song is? Here we go. It's Peter Rabbit. Can you get your rabbit ears? Peter Rabbit's got a fly upon his nose. Peter Rabbit's got a fly upon his nose. Peter Rabbit's got a fly upon his nose. And he flipped it and he flapped it and the fly flew away. Fluffy ears and curly whiskers. Floppy ears and curly whiskers, floppy ears and curly whiskers, and he flipped it and he flopped it and the fly flew away. Fantastic. Here's our next one. It's heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Now you can do this one standing up or sitting down with your legs in front of you. Are you ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And we go just a little bit faster. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Well done, everybody. One more song to go. Here it is. It's Incy Wincy Spider. Let's get our spider hands ready. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. 
Well done, everybody. Okay, the next part of Music Tots we're going to do is a story. So I'm going to move over to my story area. And I'll see you there in just a moment. Hello again. Here we are in my story time. I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible today. It's the very first story in the Bible. It's all about how God created the world. So at the very, very beginning, it was all dark. So if you close your eyes, and put your hands over your eyes, you can't see anything at all, can you? Well, that's what it was like at the very beginning of the world. And so God said, we need some light. And so when God said light, we had beautiful, beautiful light. And God separated the light from the dark and he called it day and night. And the next thing God did was he looked and he could see that the waters of heaven and the waters of earth were all together. So he decided we needed a space between the waters. And so God moved some waters up to heaven and pushed some down to earth. And that space in between, God called sky. And then God looked and he said, there's too much blue. There's the blue sky and the blue waters. Let's gather the waters of the land and see if we can get some dry land to appear. And that's what God did. He gathered the waters and dry land appeared. And we had sea and the land and the earth. And then God thought, well, we've got blue, we've got green. Let's add some more colours. Let's have some plants, some trees, some flowers, some fruits and vegetables, all different kinds of things that grow. And it happened just as he said. And then God said, let's put some lights in the sky. We'll have a big light to look after the day and a smaller light to be there in the night. And the big light, of course, is our sun. And the smaller light is the moon. And God also put little dots in the sky at night time. And those are our stars. And then God said, OK, everything is how I want it. Now let's get some life. Let's put some life in the sea. And so into the sea, there were fish whales, sharks and octopus, a seahorse, lots of different animals that live in the sea. And then God said, let's have some life in the sky as well. So we had birds, small little birds, as small as a sparrow, big birds as large as a hawk and all birds in between and smaller birds and bigger birds. And then God said, OK, now let's have some life on the land. So he made animals as tall as a giraffe, as big as an elephant, and as tiny as an ant. All the animals of the world. And then God said, well, I need something to take care of those animals and the plants and everything that I've made today or made this week. So I'm going to create somebody to take care of them. And that's when God created people like you and me. And their names were Adam and Eve. And all was good in the world. But next week, we're going to learn a little bit about how things started to go wrong. But for now, everything is good in the world. And that is where our story finishes. So that means it's craft time. So I need to move over to my craft area. For your craft today, all you need 
is some junk modeling, some plastic bottles, some cardboard boxes, anything that you have available. I'm going to go over to my craft area, get your things ready, and I'll see you there in a moment. So here we are at my craft table. Now today, what we're going to do is we're going to use our imagination to make something out of nothing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a model of what the story of creation is about. But you can make anything you like out of anything you can find at home. So for me, I'm going to use this old cereal box. I've got another piece of cardboard that I'm going to be able to use to make some people maybe. And I've got a bit of metal foil from a mince pie, I think it was, that I'm going to use. And I have, of course I have some glue. I have some sellotape and I have some scissors. Now if you're using scissors, make sure that your mommy or daddy or carer is helping you because scissors can be dangerous. And I also have a pencil and some colouring pens. But if you don't have those things at home, don't worry, just use what you have. So for me to start, it's going to stand up like this. But it's going to be a bit of a struggle for me to do my craft with it shaped like this. So it's going to be flat to start with. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue this little thing into the top corner turn it into a sun. Now you can do whatever you like. It's completely up to you what you do. And here we go. So there we go. It's stuck on. Might take a while for it to stick, but it is stuck on almost. It's a bit of extra glue just there for it. And then what I'm going to do so I'm going to use my colouring pens, got a light blue, and I'm just going to colour the bottom part of the box. It's not good, I'm going to do it very quickly here, but I'll do it properly later. So colouring in the bottom part of the box to turn it into the sea. There we go. There we go. My C is blue. It looks like a scribble at the moment, but that's because I'm doing this very quickly. So you can see that's what it looks like at the moment. And now I'm going to do some green on the little strip that's just going across here. It's a little strip in the middle so that that Get the right colour pen would help. Will be the grass. And yes, I know grass doesn't come by the set. You usually get sand, but I don't really have sandy colour, so I'm going to do grass instead. And I have to use a special pen on this because these are called magic pens. And if I do it right, the magic pen will turn my pen to green. But I will finish that off later. I can see that it is working, but I will again finish it off later. Now then, I need some birds and some people. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to draw some birds in the sky brown sky because I haven't coloured it in. There you go, so there's some birds in the sky. You probably can't see them very well. I might go over them with a black pen a bit later. And let's see, what else do we need? We need some animals in the sea. So I'm just going to draw some fish because that's what I can draw. I don't think I could draw an octopus if I tried. There we go. A few fish in the sea, birds in the sky. We need a tree, so I'm going to make a tree. To do that, I'll just draw it for now, I think, on the box and cut it out. 
I need to open the box up. Okay. I'm just going to draw tree trunk and some leaves at the top of the tree. It doesn't look anything special, but that's okay. Just do the best that you can. So I'm going to cut that out. And you'll see I'm being very careful with my scissors. And again, because we're going quick, I will trim the leaves off a little bit later, but it will all be here next week for you to see. I'm just going to cut around the tree leaves for now. And put down the bark. That's it. Put down the trunk. Then I'll be able to stand my tree up like this. Stood up in the world. And put it anywhere I like. And then we need some people. And some tall animals. Now, I can't think of how to draw a giraffe. Otherwise, I would draw a draft, but I might just draw an elephant's head. I'm just going to draw a circle with two big ears, two eyes, and a long nose. Okay, that's not a good elephant, but it will do. It's just got big ears and a long nose and two lovely eyes. That's what an elephant's head looks like. So again, I will cut that out a bit later and pop that on. And some people. Oh, I'm not very good at drawing people, so I'm going to just draw some stick people. And I've drawn them. There's only two people on the world at the moment. I've drawn them so they're standing on the grass. So you probably can't see them. My skin just fell off. I'll pop that back on with some more glue a bit later on. So there we have my creation and I'll colour it in and it will all be sat here ready for you guys next week. I hope you've had some fun at music class today. It's been really good to see you. So I'm going to say goodbye now and I'll see you for story time, singing time and craft time on our music class online next week. Thank you for joining me. Bye.